Well, good morning, beautiful people. Are you ready to make a monster with me today? So here are my plants. I am going to use four different patterns, three different fabrics, some lace, lots of different techniques. I'm basically going to pick and choose my favorite aspects of these four various shirt patterns that I've made over the past year and put together something that I think is gonna be the ultimate shirt. Now this is loosely inspired by a shirt that I purchased online. It's a vintage Victorian shirt. It was a gamble when I bought it because it was a no refunds policy, which I completely respect. I used the measurements that were provided in the actual listing and I thought there's a chance I could fit into this garment, but I can't. So I think this is a gorgeous shirt. I'm really happy that I own it. It's basically like a historic wall decoration for me at this point. Uh, but the way I envision that shirt fitting me is something that I want to recreate right now. Uh, I want to have a very fitted bodice. Um, I actually want to create poofier, more dramatic sleeves. Since I'm going to be making this Franken shirt from scratch, I figure why not go crazy and just throw everything in the kitchen sink at it. So I am ready to get started and I'm going to highlight the different things that I will be doing from each pattern so you can come along on this journey with me. Sorry, can you hear me? Can you hear me okay? Um, okay, this is overwhelming. Uh, I went ahead and cut out all the different pieces that I think I'm gonna need. I put various pieces together and guessed on kind of connecting A to point B after kind of matching up various pieces that I was hoping to combine. And it, it looks like an absolute nightmare here. I'm a little concerned that I'm not going to be able to make sense of this and pull together these four different patterns and the different concepts that I want to kind of weave together into one shirt, but I'm trying to trust the process and I think I can make it work. And once the pieces are cut out and they slowly are starting to be put together and I can try them on, I can always kind of cut them while they're on me and pin them while they're on me and just make sure that I'm getting the pattern exactly as I want in real time. This is my first attempt at really trying to create my own pattern. I know it's based off of many patterns patterns, but by the time you add seven to ten new ingredients to a recipe, isn't it kind of your own at that point? I'm excited. If it works out, it's my little Franken baby, and uh, we'll see. Maybe it's a start of a new project series for me. 
Well, I'm at that faded point of no return and I actually feel a little bit nervous about it. I cut out all the pattern pieces and the only problem is I don't know if this is gonna work out and I love these fabrics. So these three fabrics that I'm using are some of my absolute favorite linen fabrics that I've had for years now and there's just none left. So this is the last project that all of these are gonna see and if the project doesn't come together, I think I'm just gonna be a little mournful that they were wasted versus utilized. I'm trying to not think about it too much and I'm trying to assume that if I encounter a problem, I'll be able to correct it along the way. But yeah, here we go. It's the beginning and uh, you know me, I'm fretting, but I'm gonna see what happens and keep my fingers crossed. Well, here is my baby. What do you think? I think that she has potential, but there's still a long way to go. There's plenty of things that I like about this pattern and then plenty of things that didn't really work out. But if I refine it, I think it could make a super cute shirt. I do think that these two fabrics, this striped fabric here and this natural colored linen are kind of so closely matched that there's not enough of a contrast. So maybe next time I would either use the same color for the flange as for the front of the bodice or something that's really different. See how these sleeves really kind of pop on the garment um, and it almost seems like I'm wearing a vest so that's kind of cute. It's kind of like a shirt meets a vest especially because I have the different color down the side here. I'm not sure if you can see that. The back is a little too short for my liking. I'm gonna have to figure out how to fix that. The front, it doesn't lay as nice as I wanted it to, so that's why it is tucked in. Um, but you know, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna elongate the torso on the next shirt. I'm going to choose a different color palette. And what are we thinking about this collar? I turned it into, or I tried to turn it into a Peter Pan collar, and I'm not sure if I was successful with that. Basically, this whole front is one pattern. The back is another pattern. And the sleeves are two patterns combined. If you made it to the end of the video, I really appreciate you tuning in. If you could hit the like button down below and if you subscribe to my channel it would mean the world to me. I look forward to your comments and feedback and I really hope to see you next time. Bye!